everybody, welcome back to another video and today we're back in Minecraft and we're gonna be playing on the hardest Minecraft world ever again. This time I have a list of things that I want to do. First of all, I want to see if I can try and find some iron and I also want to see if I can build like a really, really nice house because this isn't looking so, what's the word? Handsome, good looking, it looks like it's mob proof, but it doesn't look good. So I'm thinking that we need to change this up and then turn it into a house like right here. Or we could build over it, which is a good idea. We could have the entrance like right here. And then this is our basement door and then leave this gap open because this is where we're gonna actually be sleeping. But first, I need to get myself some pig. Watch out, buddy, I'm coming for ya. I've learned that axes actually do a lot better when you're hunting things, cause look, see, a diamond sword does seven attack damage and then a stone axe does nine, which is crazy powerful. So I've learned that I use these instead and they are so much more helpful. And plus, you don't have to carry around a sword and an axe at the same time. If you're going to collect wood and food, the axe is way more handy. See, look at this, one hit. It's insane. I need more meat. I need more. More, I see. More! <laughs> Whoa, I've never seen this before. What happened here? It's like half burnt away. That's kind of weird. I'm actually gonna grab these real quick. Come here, Penny. Where did you go? Where did he go? Was he down down? Oh, you sneaky little. No way. Oh, we could get some obsidian if we found some iron or diamond. I can't remember which one does it. Maybe if you find gold, we'll be able to do it. Did you guys actually know that gold mines faster than diamond? It's like super low durability, but it's helpful when you're mining obsidian. But using the gold still takes a long time to mine all the obsidian because it's like one of the strongest blocks in the game. I have a buttload of coal, but I need some iron here. Couldn't find any iron. That's really weird. I think I need to find like a cave or something. Or I could make my own. I could just make like a little staircase down by my house. Right now I'm trying to get as much food as possible because I'm running really low. I just lose my house again. Uh, I recognize this spot over here. I'm actually gonna collect some more of this coal that I'm passing by. Okay, this is gonna be pretty easy. I know that this house is gonna be, it's gonna look good. No, what, what's with this? There's so many cows over here, but my house isn't. Let me get on top of this mountain. Maybe that will help. Okay, let's see here. I'm more in this kind of biome. But I'm not sure this, this looks like the grass I have by my house, but there's hardly any cows. And it's becoming my cat. Perfect. Right at the start of the episode, I'm already messing up. Just perfect. If I find my house in time, I'm going to show you guys the actual efficiency that it has killing other mobs like, like Enderman and zombies and skeletons and stuff like that. But my brother yesterday, he actually pointed out that the house that I have, there's only one mob that can get through and that's Silverfish. If you don't know what it is, I'll put an image on the screen like right here. Oh yes, look at that. Finally. So now I better get in my house quickly. That looks nice, look at that. I'm actually gonna go to sleep. I don't think I can see any mob. We have exactly one stack of wood plus this many slabs. Let's see here, I'm going to make some axes. I'm gonna make a lot of sticks first. While I was editing the last episode on this map, I noticed that there was something confusing that I said. I said not to put the chests on the ground because they didn't take up as much space as the furnaces and the crafting table. One of the ways I know how to do it, I'm trying to advance it so it's a bit better 
and I figured out that putting the crafting table into the ground is the best way to save space and doing that the same with the furnaces and then keeping the chests above ground because they don't take up as much space as the furnace and the crafting table. But the only reason why I said that was because since they don't take up as much space, it doesn't look as good because there's gaps around the edges. But I guess you could do it this way. Take out one of your slabs and then put that there. Actually, that does kind of look good. So forget what I said in the last episode. This is like one of the best setups that I've had for this game. All good, let's go. Can't forget the food, can't forget the food. Derp, derp, derp. Now let's go ahead and eat our first mutton. Oh, that tastes delicious. Alright, this is going to be a little bit, so just give me a second. Let's get some more oak wood now, and then we can start building our house, cause our house is looking spruce based, and I kind of want it to be oak wood based. Should I make like a log cabin? I think that would be cool. I'm gonna try and make a log cabin. Now let's see how much wood we got. There we go. That's looking like a good amount of wood. Now let's mine up some cobblestone. I'm gonna try and parkour jump this. Just kidding, I'm not gonna try and do that, cause that, would be stupid. I think I completely ran the wrong way. Oh, here we go. I am just gonna mine up this cobblestone and then I'll be on my way. Let's do this. This is gonna be fairly easy to find my house, I think. Keyword, I think. Actually, that's keywords. Uh -oh. Can't do anymore now. It's getting dark. Uh, I can't find it. Where did it go? I cannot live the night on hardcore. There's no way. No, 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 no. There's too much lava here. This isn't it. Oh, I'm getting the chills down my spine. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Not after I've mined all these resources. Cool. This is going to be my mining area. I'm making this my mining area because my house is going to be right here. I ventured out way too far. You know what? I'm done running. I'm gonna fight off the monsters. Here's my plan. We've got two Endermen. All I need to do, get them both on my tail. I got this. I've got one. I hate the, I hate your son. I hate your son. You must die. All right, let's get some spider eyes. Look at that. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna beast it. Hola, senor! Have you come to die? You have an iron sword, but I have a wooden axe that does more damage than your iron sword. Nope. No. Guys, I'm done. Sadly, that's gonna have to wrap it up. And our poor, poor remains lie here. And this zombie is triumphant. Oh, wait. You know what? We could play around here a little bit. I heard there's something weird when you spectate certain mobs. A zombie is normal, like it's a normal scene. But then when you spectate something like a spider, it's just... Whoa. Whoa, it's like eight. You could see it. Look at that weird effect. You know, there's a skeleton and a creeper. The skeleton is nothing, and the creeper is green tinted everywhere. That is really weird. Now I wonder if there's like an enderman around. Mm, can't find one, that's too bad. 
Anyways, guys, that's gonna have to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm super glad that you joined in with me on this adventure. And I'm really sad that it's done now. It was so fun, but I didn't get to build a bigger house. <laughs>